There's something special about these trees. It's the way they look, the character they have, the presence they have in the landscape, the smell, the touch, the feel. There's no other trees like them. These trees have spirit. They've got presence. When people meet these trees, they can't help but be filled with a sense of awe. They are elders in the landscape. There isn't anybody I've brought here who doesn't feel it. There's something that makes people feel they have a relationship to these trees that touches people in a special way. This is Lutrawitta, Tasmania. And these are Wailina, cider gums, the weeping trees. I came to photography late in life, but when I did, it felt like I'd found my purpose. It happened at a time when I'd lost my joy in life. The way I regained it was to go into nature, and I just happened to take a camera with me. I've taken myself to metaphysical mountaintops to examine why the threads of my life have brought me to this particular point. I have a belief that we're all here for a purpose and that my skill in photography is part of mine, that I should use it to protect or to help the things I feel are important and endangered wild places are one of those things. In terms of conservation, my energy is better off in photography than anywhere else. Photography is where I can give resonance to my voice and potentially make a difference. I think that's the reason for my life. The camera isn't necessary for me to connect with a wild place, but it does two things. It helps me to focus, to intensify my energy of perception. The camera also helps me to take someone else to that place in a virtual way. When I'm in a wild place, I'm really aware of everything, the sounds, the smells, the things that might have happened in that place in the past. And all of that, even though photography is a visual medium, finds its way into the image. To photograph a place, I have to have a sense of connection to it. Once I connect with a place, then I look for a way that I can make it shine. Generally, one of the first things I'm going to be looking at is light. Because our eyes travel with the light. Light carries our feelings. Light tells stories. Can photography make a difference? Yes. I believe it can, but conservation photography has to be authentic. It has to be about what's there without altering the elements in a landscape. A painter can paint whatever they like, and some elements of photography are moving in the same direction, but conservation photography has to be something we can believe in. If someone sees a beautiful photo and they don't believe it, it's not going to inspire them to protect that place.
Being out on Skullbone Plains with the cider gums, there's a deep feeling of wildness. It feels like a place that's lived, a place that's seen a damn sight more than I have. It gives you a sense of the passage of the eons. And you don't feel like you're going to walk around the corner and see a house. There are no flight paths overhead. There's no sight or sound of anything that is human interference. And it's rare these days to find a place like that. In the plains, you can sense the story of the place and be aware of that living story going on all around you. So much of humankind has moved away from nature, forgotten that we live in relationship with the rest of the world, with other species, with other beings. Right now, we're sitting on a cliff. We're on the cliff of a cascading disintegration of ecosystems. We need diversity. We need balance. We need to retain as many species as we can. I don't know what's going to happen as climate change evolves, but I do know that we are not living alone on this planet, and we must start living in a sustainable way, which means living in relationship with the rest of the living things on the planet. The Earth gives us what we need to survive, but we need to actually take care of it. Part of photographing the cider gums is exercising that duty of care to try and keep as many elements in our ecosystems as we can. When I think of the cider gums, I can't help but wonder what would be the repercussions if they were no longer there. <laughs>